Selling digital products online can earn you a lot of money, but setting up a system that allows you to sell these digital products can be a bit challenging. In today's video, I want to show you how to set up a website that allows you to sell digital products from scratch. And we're going to do this on WordPress. And if you stay until the end, I also have a special bonus for you. I am going to include this template as a downloadable so that if you want to sell, set this up on your own website, you can just install the template just like that. Anyway, guys, let's get started. So if you want to set up your own website that sells digital products, you're going to need to use uh, WordPress. So in this case, I'm going to use ZipWP. This saves me a lot of time setting it up on a hosting company. Okay, so I'm on ZipWP here and I'm gonna set up my brand new website. So I'm gonna click here on create new and this is going to be a blank website. So we're gonna give this a label. So let's just call this my digital product and then we're gonna click on create site. Next, we're gonna click here on one click login to log into our website and pretty much we are good to go. So what I'm going to do now, I'm gonna set my main homepage of my website as the landing page. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come over here to pages and then click on add new. We're gonna create a brand new page and name it home. Next, we're gonna click on publish. Now let's head over back to our dashboard here. We're gonna come all the way down here to settings and then we're gonna to go to reading. Now remember that homepage we've just created, we need to come over here and set it as a static page. So I'm gonna click here on this drop down and choose home as my static page. Next, I'm gonna come over here to appearance and then click on themes. So this is where we need to install a theme for our website. So the one I'm going to install is called Astra. So I'm gonna search for it. In fact, it's right here, click on install and then activate. And by the way, all the products I'm installing here are absolutely free. Next, I'm gonna come over here to plugins click on add new plugin. And this plugin here is called Spectra. This is going to uh, enhance our blocks as we build our website. And again, it is absolutely free. I'm gonna click on install now and then activate. The final plugin we're going to install now is called Shortcut. This plugin allows us to then sell our products and collect the monies. So let's go ahead again here, Shortcut install now and then activate. All right, so as we can see here, Shortcut has been uh, installed. I'm gonna click now on get started. So now it's asking me to create my brand new store. So I'm gonna click on create new store. I'm gonna leave this color as it is, but if you want to add your own brand color, you can just come over here and add your brand color. I'm gonna leave the currency as it is, but we also have quite a lot to choose from over here. Next, I'm gonna click on continue and it's asking now, should we start from scratch or should we start with demo products? I'm gonna say start from scratch and click on continue. I'm gonna leave my email address as that, but of course, in your case, you wanna add your own email address. Click on continue and then we're going to add our product. So you can see here, this was very, very straightforward. So now to add our product, I'm just gonna click on add a product. So I'm gonna call this baking mastery. Next, we're gonna click on create. Now it's time to enter our description. So I'm gonna paste it like that. And I also need to add my image. Now, remember, I mentioned that if you want to use any of these products that I've just showcased so far, they're absolutely free. So you need to register this. So anyway, let me save and publish for now. And then I'm going to now continue with my complete setup. So here you can see this is my store name. And we also have a store URL and so on. So once you're happy with that, you can click on next and pretty much we can now go back to WordPress. So now you're registered for a shortcut account and it is absolutely free. So now we're able to see our dashboard, but what we're interested in right now is to go back and complete our setup of our product. So I'm gonna click here on products and then we're going to click on edit. Now let's add our image. So I'm gonna click here on add, upload media. And remember, we just downloaded it. So I'm gonna go to my downloads folder, double click on that. We're gonna click on it and then click on choose file. Now it's time to add the pricing. So I'm gonna click here on add a price. So this is a one-off. So I'm just gonna call this basic. So over here, we have several ways to set up our payment options. So if you click on this drop down, we have installment, we have subscription, and we have one time. So now I'm gonna add, enter my price. So let's say this is going for maybe $37. We just paste it like that. But of course, if you want to um, maybe showcase a uh, discounted price, you can say 97 here and then discounted down to 37. So we also have other options here to allow customers to pay what they want. But of course, we're not gonna do that right now. And then we're gonna say create price. Now you see, now the 97 is crossed out and we have this 37 and it also says one time. Okay, great. So now as we continue here, we can add our stock, but since this is a digital product, we don't need to do that. Now, the most important part is the downloads. So this is where we need to enter 
our link for our downloads or we can go to secure storage and upload our digital product over here. So in this case, maybe it's just a basic PDF. So I'm just gonna look for something here that's quite small and zipped. So let's pretend that this is our digital product. So I'm gonna click on open. So I'm gonna click again and then say choose file. And here it is. So the next thing you need to do is to make sure you publish it. So I'm gonna click on published and then save. The next step now is to connect our payments because obviously we need to collect the monies. So I'm gonna click here on connect payments. And as you can see here, we have Stripe, PayPal, Molly, and Paystack. So you need to be registered on Stripe, PayPal, or any of these uh, before you can set this up. So now I can go in and set Stripe up. So you can choose Stripe. And then over here, you wanna click on connect. So I'm just gonna go for test mode. And then I'm gonna say connect. So back over here now on our product page, if we click here on this drop down, you can see now we have uh, managed to go in and publish it. Now we can make this uh, test, test mode if we need to. But of course, if you're going live, you would need to go in and deactivate this test mode. Now here's the thing, maybe you may want to have a custom thank you page. So this is where you'd come in and activate this option here for a custom page. Now, of course you'd, you'd have, um, have to create it earlier on in time so that you can go in and paste the URL over here. So that becomes your thank you page. The customer comes in, pays for your product, and then they see the thank you page. So this is what it looks like. So pretty much this is the process of setting up your website to take payments for any digital product. So here it has a short description of the product and then if they have a coupon code, you can add it over here, enter your name, make the purchase and pretty much you are good to go. If you set up the thank you page. So remember we created a home page, but we hadn't designed it yet. So this is the final design. So I've added a header here by just adding a header module. And then over here, I just added an image which relates to the product that we are selling on our website. Below here, I just added the reasons why people should buy this book. So over here, I just added a background color. So you've come over here onto style. This is where I came and gave this background a color. So you can see now it was very, very easy to add. Further down here, I thought it would be a good idea if we added testimonials. So you can see here, we have our testimonials. Again, uh, these are very easy to add. This is a testimonial block. Further down here, we have our frequently asked questions. In fact, let's see the complete page here. So if I refresh this, this will have now the updated design because here we have our reasons why you should buy the book. We have our testimonials here. And further down, we have our FAQs and we can scroll through these and we can add whatever information we need to add onto them. Further down here, we also have our call to action. So hurry now and get 50% off. We also have a countdown and then a buy now button. So all this was added using Spectra and this is the free version. And just to show you how amazing this is, if I click here on this plus button, we notice that we have all these modules that we can use. We have a counter here, FAQ, which is the one I've just used here. We have a form, we have Google Maps, icon list, I mean, there's a lot and all this comes for free with Spectrum. Now further down here, we also have our shortcuts, uh, buttons and so on. But to make things easier for us, I just added my button here, which links then to the checkout page. Now let's see what happens when I click on this button. And you can see now that it's going to my checkout page. So this is the page now where our visitor can come in, add their email address, add their name over here, enter the coupon code if, it, if, if it's available. And then finally, if they click on purchase, you just click over here and then it takes them onto the page where they are going to add their details. But for now, I haven't added my payment processor, so that's why it hasn't gone through to the next page. But anyway, this is how you create a website that sells digital products. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.